Huh? What do, what, what do we got going on here? Oh, you know, that's not, that's not really that big a deal. They got insurance. Um, um. I'm pretty sure that's being done in the name of equity, so it's fine. What is that? A, a woman not wearing a mask? Ah! No, stop, stop. She's not fighting. Ma'am, so it's not cooperating either. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can. Let go. Ma'am, stop resisting. Resist. Stop resisting. I'm just standing here. Why? Because I wanted to sit. Take her down there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let go. Take her down there. Arrest that concerned parent for daring not to obey. Dr. Fauci and not following mask. <laughs> Who am I, by the way? I'm Jack Boot Jackson, your local police officer. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zukardowski here of We Are Change.org. We got a lot of information to get into. As of course, it seems like the world has gone mad with many people playing politics and excusing some of the worst atrocious atrocities that were just recently committed in Wisconsin. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more, as well as, of course, the bigger problems ahead for free humanity. As, of course, internationally and domestically, there are a lot of problems to look out for, which, of course, we'll be talking about in this video. But uh, as I think you could see from my introduction, I think it's very fair to say that, that things are a little bit skewed when it comes to the American justice system. This as of course billionaires who have their tentacles in almost every aspect of her society have been hiring woke district attorneys all throughout the United States that has essentially led to chaos in many places all over the world as you have seen from the clips that we played in the beginning of this broadcast of just outright looting and theft that has been decriminalized in many places all around the United States and uh, guess what there's been a lot more theft and looting because of that. This says, of course, poor people are becoming poorer, the rich becoming richer, mass money printing, inflation, destruction of small and middle class businesses is creating a situation where theft is becoming the quote, new normal, as even Best Buy stocks have been crashing, their margins have been sliding, of course, due to quote, organized retail theft that has affected them all throughout the United States, especially in major democratic cities all throughout the United States. Now add up everything we just said with the fact that many prisons are releasing a lot of their hardened criminals. You of course have a recipe of disaster, which we have to say has been fomented by upper echelons of our society that have condoned, sometimes even supported, aided and abetted criminal activity as long as it supported their political ideology. There's no denying this. With even some, quote, intellectual scholars of this political ideology recently decreeing that, that these California crime waves should not be called looting because that term is, quote, racist. Yes, Lorenzo Boyd, a professor of criminal justice and community policing at the University of New Haven, told ABC News 7 and other media companies to stop using the term looting because the term is somehow bad and discriminatory. Um, and you know what's bad? Looting. Looting's bad. Stealing from others is bad. Robbing people of their products is bad. And, you know, maybe instead of trying to change definitions here, how about we, uh, you know, stop creating a situation where crime against others is normalized? But, uh, you know, that might be uh, too much to ask for, especially with the latest events that just unfolded with a young man named Kyle, who, of course, was vilified, attacked, defamed, and lied about by many powerful institutions in this country after, of course, a court found him recently not guilty of any of the charges and larger accusations that, of course, were made against him 
by the corporate media. Now, with the corporate media giving voice to lunatics like the one that we just talked about and getting a recent court proceeding so wrong, you, of course, at this point, shouldn't expect anything else but the continuation of insanity from these very powerful institutions as MSNBC recently described a horrible incident where a man deliberately decided to ram his car into a Christmas parade, which ended up killing six people, injuring 46 others seriously. And according to MSNBC, this was, quote, an accident. CBS News, not to be outdone by the lunacy, detailed that all of this was just a, quote, parade crash, and that the person responsible here was just a parade crash suspect. Since, you know, we all have accidents and accidentally get in a car crash. But it definitely doesn't seem like everything that happened in Wisconsin was just an accident, especially with the media originally running cover that there was a police chase, which there wasn't. There was a deliberate swerving by the suspect to injure and maim as many people as he could, and he did that to a lot of innocent people. This as just before committing this horrible act, he was released on a $1,000 bail by a woke Milwaukee district attorney that, of course, had ties to the billionaire class that put him in power related to an incident where he allegedly ran over a woman with the car. He had active arrest warrants. He was released from custody all on a one thousand dollar bail something that of course has been called extremely low bail that of course has led up to the circumstances where of course more innocent people were hurt by the actions of these woke individuals and their cult that they're pushing on everyone that is leading into real world chaos all the warning signs were there with this person daryl brooks who of course rapped even about being a terrorist, he called for violence against white people, which he called the enemy. There's some preliminary reports that he was also a black Israelite. He was a big supporter of Colin Kaepernick, Black Lives Matter, and he also actively encouraged violence against white people, specifically against, quote, old white people, as, of course, all of his victims were white. His uh, egregious behavior and posts on social media are there for everyone to see. He even shared some uh, support for the Germans in the 1930s and for the media to label this a, a car crash, an accident, predominantly highlighting that this was the SUV that was responsible here is absolutely disingenuous. And if we don't address the problem, we'll of course create more of these incidences to come in my own personal opinion. You wanna deal with the problem? You address the problem, you don't start making excuses for it, you don't start trying to ignore it, as of course this kind of woke ideology and nonsense has reached cult-like prominence with many of the establishment individuals in the corporate media spewing their discriminatory hate speech against people because of the way that they were born. Here at We Are Chains as an independent media organization, we don't believe in any of that. And because this message is even becoming controversial, the messages of trying to bring people together, of trying to call out the divide and conquer agenda, of trying to stop the violence, is also a voice that has been censored by, of course, a lot of big tech monopolies in many different ways. And that's why, of course, we started LukeUncensored.com, our very own platform where, where we, of course, strive to give you the best, most accurate information to try to help you as much as we can navigating our current chaotic world. In today's video, we will be specifically making a video about how to talk to your family members, how to convince them of facts of the larger truths out there and how to heal your relationships with them in order to work more harmoniously, in order to be there for each other, in order to protect each other, since, of course, family is essential and has been one of the key targets of attack by a lot of these institutional powerhouses. So we're going to be specifically telling you conversations to start with your family members this Thanksgiving. And if you're interested in that, sign up right now on LukeUncensored.com. The link is down in the description below and of course to beat out the corporate media we are starting our black friday sale right now with of course 
promo code L-U-K-E, promo code Luke for the most majority of our products on thebestpoliticalshirts.com where you can get amazing shirts that can help you awaken your fellow neighbor or person at the grocery store. This is a great way of, of making friends. These are great gifts that you could give your family members. Get them before supplies change, shortages stop you from getting them, especially our Christmas sweaters that are definitely uh, conversation starting. Check out all the amazing things we have all exclusively on, of course, the best political shirts.com. The link is also down in the description below. Just scrolling by it will definitely be entertaining to say the least. Now, continuing on with our programming, I think it's very fair to say that things are a little bit chaotic in the world. I think that's fair to say with, of course, not just international trade, but also geopolitically what's happening on the world staged as, of course, there's been a lot of saber rattling between Russia and, of course, Western powers, which are aligning with countries like Ukraine, as, of course, there's been a lot of increased military activity on the Russian-Ukrainian border as NATO forces and Russian forces amass, with many people fearing the worst to come, a potential conflict between the two nations. Now, what's going to be happening here? Obviously, we're going to be keeping a close eye on it ourselves. But with tensions between Russia and the Western world, this, of course, also impacts energy prices that have been dramatically going up energy prices going up equals to of course everything else going up with even the vice president of the united states kamala harris recently explaining and surprisingly admitting that yes prices have gone up this is a huge admission from an administration that has almost every step of the way been working to make this economic calamity that much worse as of course right now we are facing decade high inflation in the united states with those numbers expected to rise from here this is of course something that i've been warning about since the beginning of the global sickness telling you to watch out for the larger financial ramifications which in my opinions will be big already the dollar tree store is changing into the dollar 25 store and of course that is just one mile marker of many of prices going up dramatically for the average consumer which of course will be getting a lot worse from here why will it be getting a lot worse well because of the mandates that Biden will be placing on private businesses that have over 100 employees to of course participate in a procedure that he's making mandatory for a lot of the people to take. This, of course, is causing a lot of people to quit their jobs. He's also adding another caveat as the president of the United States just announced that the U.S. will now require truckers crossing into the United States to have this procedure along with, of course, most likely booster shots starting in January. What will this do to global trade, which already has been extremely negatively impacted? Well, it's going to be negatively impacted even more by this administration that looks like it is hell-bent on causing economic chaos. All of this in the name of Dr. Fauci that just announced that if you took this procedure, well, you're going to need it to take a third procedure now to be deemed fully compliant with the state. As, of course, individuals like Dr. Fauci, who is seen here with... Individuals like Barbara Walters, the Rockefellers, the Gateses, the Ted Turners, and others, as of course Fauci, is also recently declaring that his critics are the ones that are, quote, killing people. Yes, that's literally what Dr. Fauci recently said in another MSNBC interview. And you would think, you know, the, the doctor who wants to help people reach his message to his far wider audiences as he possibly can would actually do interviews with everyone but he's only doing interviews with of course the media establishment that cheers him on praises him and doesn't question him at all gee that's strange as of course here in the united states the numbers of deaths related to this sickness has already surpassed the numbers from last year as of course this government had a year to launch a full frontal assault on this alleged sickness which has caused more people to die that's uh very strange along with all the other numbers out there 
especially the numbers when you compare what's happening in Palestine and what's happening in Israel. One place that does comply did take the procedure. Another place that doesn't has very poor medical standards has been basically denied this procedure. You look at the cases there. There's there's a big story happening here. What's happening here? We're going to be talking about that. We have been talking about that all on LukeUncensored.com. I'm going to be doing yet another video um, later on today, so stay tuned for that. Check out the email list. The email list usually notifies you when a new video drops, so sign up to that um, on enoughofcensorship.com. The link to that is also down in the description below. It's one of the ways that we could still survive as an independent media organization is through our email list. And remember, no matter what happens, your life, your future is decided by you and no one else Make it an amazing one. Make it a good one. Make it one filled with love, peace, and harmony, family, dignity, and freedom. That's just my own personal perspective. And if you agree with that, share this video with your friends and family members because that's really one of the only ways that these videos do get out there to the general public. Can't close this. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna break my table. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here. On we are change. Don't work.